Hey guys, today we're doing a little something special. Uh, we're going to give you guys a little tour of some of our favorite restaurants. Now Medellin has got some very fine places to eat and a lot of restaurants. But today we're just going to give you a look at where we've been going on kind of a regular basis. You know what happens all the time. Everywhere we go, we end up finding our favorites. And well, we end up going there frequently and frequently. I'm sure we've missed out on some other great locations. And if we did, put it in the comments, guys, where we should have gone in there. But in the meantime, we're going to check out some of our favorite spots. Where are we going first, honey? So we are in the uh, Poblado area. Uh, the building is La Strada and the restaurant is Hacienda. Traditional Colombian foods, delicious. Cool, let's check it out. It's a really nice quaint restaurant, we like it. It's very Colombian and it's done kind of like in an old style as you can see. Salud. Salud. Alrighty guys, so our food has arrived and I can't wait to dig in because it just looks amazing. So I ordered the crispetas de chicharron, which is chicharron. Um, for those of you that don't know, chicharron is pork rind. So nice and crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside with a beautiful orange uh, mayonnaise. I've had this before, it's absolutely fabulous. All right, guys, so my meals arrived also, and I have something that I think I can only find in Colombia at this point. It's like, it is a lentil soup, but this soup is redonkulous, okay? It is quite hearty, as you can see. It's got all kinds of chicken and chorizo sausage in there. So I think maybe even some potato piece, but that's not all. What you can do is you can take this rice, and put it in there so you make it even heartier and I've got these wonderful fried plantain bits they're sweet crunchy but soft pillowy on the middle it's freaking awesome man I love this stuff these are some of my absolute favorite Colombian meals this dish it's just wonderful, I love it. And I get good fat, nice piece of avocado, just to smooth everything out. Guys, I gotta turn the camera off. This is, I gotta eat, I gotta dig in, so I catch you at the next place. The bill has arrived, not sure how much of this you're seeing, but it is 57,000 pesos. pesos. <laughs> So this was two beers, uh, my meal, his meal. Uh, so about 60,000 pesos is probably the equivalent of about $20. All right, so this is our third restaurant that's been our favorite. So it's called Beer Station. I have to say not traditional Colombian food, but when you're craving a burger, this is the place. This is the place, guys. This has become my go-to burger place. And you'll see why when we go in and get a table, I'm going to order the burger, of course, the special burger. <laughs> it's divine. Wait really till you good. see it. Uh, yeah, look, every now and then you get a craving for some of your home cooking, right? Some of that stuff, the pizzas, burgers, things kind of we grew up with. And it's not always about the Colombian food, so. All right, guys, so we've gotten our order. I got my burger. Look at this. It's a killer, man. These are big pieces of bacon that you're seeing here. It's crazy. You got to mush this down it's because you got to mush it down. It's so big. It'll fit in my mouth. It's like, and I love these home fries and everything. I just got to hunt down some ketchup in there. But yeah, guys, this is it. This is the stuff. Beer station. It's an awesome burger. Uh, I can't say much more about it. It's juicy, it's wonderful. They've never let me down yet. All right, guys, so my food has arrived. So I have three mini burgers. I love everything that's small and mini. Uh, it's really simple burger. Uh, however, I find compared to Canada, uh, at least in Canada, the meat to burger to patty to uh, bun ratio is just really awesome here. They do it really well. All delicious, 
I will devour all three. All right, everyone. So Bill has arrived for three beers. His jumbo burger, my mini burgers, is 75,000 pesos, which is about a little bit more than $20. Okay, guys, so here's our, I'm going to have to say, I think it's our absolute favorite restaurant thus far. Why? Because we've been here, I, I think this is four or five times now. So, yeah, I think it's at the top of our list. It's called Quesuelitas, and it, you know, I don't know what to say about it. It's like, all the food here has been really, really tremendous each time we've been here. So, we're going to go in and get ourselves another great meal. Why don't you come along and see what we're going to have. Yeah, we like this restaurant, not just for the food, but it has great ambiance. So unfortunately, I forgot to hit record. So you guys didn't see us ordering our food in really bad Spanish. <laughs> we can reenact it. Well, you know, <laughs> what's the point? You know, it's like, we're not there yet, but we're being understood now. So that's pretty cool. And uh, look, Kesui... Uh, Casulitas is a great restaurant because the waiters and waitresses that are here uh, are not fluent in English, but they understand enough that, you know, even if you have broken uh, baby or Tarzan Spanish like we have, you can get there. Have a great meal and they're really, really nice. So totally worth coming here, guys. Put it on your list. You'll see when the food comes, it's pretty darn awesome. It's like, and well, like I said, we've been enjoying ourselves so much at eating at this place that I, I think it's our fifth time. Possibly. And look, and this place is, the location is just really convenient. It's just down the hill from our Airbnb, which was our saving grace effort after our tour at Guatape. Go check that video. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a lot of stairs. So it's like, we, it, our calves were kind of locked up for like three days. So we came here on a regular basis and ate. Uh, yeah, it's like really two minutes away. Funny, thing, funny little thing happened. We opened up a little uh, utensil packet and there's no napkins in this one. Normally there are. So now we are Google translating, trying to figure out how to ask for a napkin <laughs> without having to do gestures and stuff. So <laughs> Google Translate app is not coming up with anything. It's not recognizing napkins. So now Josie's going to the web and going to Google web page and everything and going to see what we can come up with. The things we do. So our food has arrived. So I have the canas, canas, canasa casualetas, which is a fried green plantain bowl with filled with just yummy goodness. <laughs> it's got guacamole, refried beans, uh, some marinated beef, chips, and of course chicharrones and avocados. Two of the best, two of the best things in Colombia. There you go, and look, I've got simple beginnings, folks. I'm a steak and potatoes kind of guy sometimes, so here we go. So I've got a nice little green salad with a few tomatoes. It's actually very tasty. And over here I got what they call just rustic potatoes and a sirloin steak. It's not fancy, but it'll be really good. However, the last time I had the sirloin steak, I had a nice little chimichurri to dip it into, and this time they don't have it. I was really looking forward to that chimichurri. However, this looks like it might be poured on top. So yeah, I think this is a little juicy. It's probably been poured on top. Different approach, it all depends on the chef every time you come. <laughs> If you guys forgot what chicharrones are, it's basically pork butt that's been deep fried, so it's slow cooked, I guess, and then deep fried, and it gets kind of crunchy, and you get all that good fat and that flavor. And when it's well seasoned, well, it's you know, it's kind of heavenly. <laughs> so, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys come and visit if, uh, this restaurant, Casulitas, if you're ever in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a chain or not, but this one's excellent. Give it a shot if you're in the neighborhood. Cheers. All right. Cheer. Cheers for now. Food. At the next location. 
out. So here's our bill. It's getting a little dark outside, so I'm not sure how much details you guys are going to see. But it's uh, 98,000 pesos, which is the equivalent of about $30 Canadian.